Hi, my name is Nathan Hall, and I am an Associate Dean in Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies at McGill. And as an Associate Dean, I get to develop policies and best practices for McGill grad students and their supervisors, and I also serve as a point of contact for helping students understand their options when things get difficult. Now, as part of this job, I get a lot of questions, and here's an interesting one about sharing information with your supervisor. Dear Associate Dean, that's me. I'm wondering how much information I need to share with my supervisor. Do I have to let my supervisor know about everything I'm doing? For example, do I have to let them know what courses I'm taking? If I'm applying for a PhD program or applying for jobs, do I have to let them know the details? This is a good question. And the short answer is no. You don't have to share everything you're doing with your supervisor if you don't want to. There are, of course, some things that supervisors do need to know about. For example, some supervisors require that you take specific courses to be able to do your research. This you'll often find in your letter of admission. And generally speaking, it can be helpful to consult with your supervisor on what courses would be best to take in order to help support your training and your research or what a feasible course load looks like. For example, it might not be ideal to take all the most demanding courses in your first year or to stack up four courses in one term, and your supervisor can probably give you some good advice about that. That said, if you and your supervisor do disagree on what courses to take or you're not comfortable talking to your supervisor about the courses you're interested in, you can always talk to your graduate program director or your GPD. Your GPD can provide a lot of useful information on the coursework options available to you and give useful advice on how to discuss coursework or program issues with your supervisor. Now, aside from coursework, there are other things you definitely do need to make sure your supervisor knows about, such as if you will be away for an extended period of time or need to take a leave of absence, how you are progressing towards your degree in terms of courses and thesis work, and any other projects you are working on that could impact your degree progress. However, sometimes students just don't see eye to eye with their supervisor and prefer to keep things to themselves or seek guidance from other people. For example, maybe you're a master's student but you want to do a PhD in an entirely different field. Or maybe you're a PhD student and you don't want to do a postdoctoral fellowship or be a professor after you graduate. Or maybe you want to take a course in a second language that is completely unrelated to your program and maybe you know that if you said any of these things to your supervisor you would get a less than enthusiastic response. When it comes to issues beyond your degree program, like career options, you do have a choice over what information you share or do not share with your supervisor. Although you would, of course, need to provide some info if you're requesting a letter of reference, for example, you do not need to discuss every professional development opportunity or every career path you are pursuing with your supervisor. Although you would hope your supervisor would support you in achieving your personal goals outside the program, these topics are personal and it is your prerogative to keep such details private if that's what you prefer. And sometimes your supervisor is not actually the most effective campus resource when it comes to reaching your personal goals. For example, the Career Planning Service at McGill offers great mentorship and job shadowing programs. Similarly, other McGill resources such as MyPath, an Individual Development Plan, or IDP, helps you map out your degree goals and career trajectory. This platform is private and set up specifically to help you reach your personal goals. So basically, you do need to keep your supervisor informed of anything that might impact your academic progress while you're in your program. However, sometimes your personal or professional development goals are just that, personal. And there might actually be other more useful resources for helping you navigate these important issues.